All right, in order not to complicate this tutorial, I want to keep it at least in this beginning as um, straightforward and as simple as possible. I want to return the user.php file we removed. So we're going to be using two of them at the same time. The reason is that um, Laravel uses the initial user.php file to handle the entire login and registration process, but we've created our own to handle other things, all right? So we're going to have to work with, uh, put the, put back that one there while we work with ours. So to do that, um, I'm just going to go to my folder to app, right in the app folder, I'm going to paste. Um, I hope I remember where it used to be. I'm most definitely here, so I paste it. So uh, make sure you have yours back. Let me just open it so you'll see the content in case you want to manually type it out again look at it here so if i open it uh, this is just what it is and of course you can go to github if you've deleted yours you should bring it back you can go to github and um, um, try and find it all right i try find it from my uh, github url so this is my github github.com slash um dave that's me on github so if you go there uh, you will see this uh, Laravel QR code project and then you will be able to um, find the user.php file. All right, but if you've not deleted yours, very good. It's okay. They just leave it there. Um, otherwise, you can just manually type this out. There is nothing um, really much here. And of course, we don't need this. Okay. So this is how yours should look like. exactly all right then so we'll go to the next thing which is to actually explore the app we just finished all right i'm gonna refresh this okay so we need to sign up the sign up i did the other time didn't go through and i never knew so i'll just do a dave dave partner and then enter the email and then choose a pass password and then click submit and we're logged in as you can see th this infom uh, laravel generator built a whole lot for us for instance it built the full menu of our, all our tables and created a search bar for us created a sample profile picture, created a sample footer, and if you come to this side, you will see this uh, user with um, sample user profile. If we click on it, what do we see? We see that there's a link to profile, and then there is a sign up button. So it's created all these things for us, and we've not even got to write any single code. For instance, if we go to QR codes, and um, column not found or non column column deleted all right so um this is another thing you have to take care of so i'm going to copy this let me show you um it's called soft delete um if we go to our database migrations we need to add this remember in laravel on no account should you go to your database directly and it did something like go to your php my admin nobody does that you can do that but you're just defeating the purpose of migration the reason for migration is that you must edit it in the file here so that if anybody is pulling your content or your website they'll be able to get the database changes but if you go directly to your database and make the changes what will happen at the end of the day is that um it's your your github the changes will not be reflecting your git account all right so i'm going to qr code i just want to show you what that means on the qr on the i'll just choose any of the tables let's say rows i'll click on structure so what happens here is that you see laravel automatically added created at and updated that for us let's look at what is in rows here yeah, create rows all we did in rows as you can see is that we just created the id and the name but this particular line created the the um the timestamp for us which is the created that and updated that 
but we need one more which is deleted as because um, the Laravel generator we just chose um, handles delete in a different way. It doesn't actually wipe out the data from the database. It just marks it as deleted. You get what I'm saying? So whatever goes into your database, the concept is that whatever the users put into your da database, they can delete it again. If they click on delete, quite all right, it will be marked as deleted, but it will not be deleted on your database. So many of these awesome uh, new uh, social networks, all these big applications, they use it. Your data never really leaves the platform. It stays there, but it will be marked as deleted. So that's what soft delete means. You can read about it in Laravel documentation. So uh, let me just show you around Laravel documentation. If we go to Laravel 5.6, so most of these things, you really want to pause this video and scan through it so that um, you will never have to uh, come back to it again. So it's called soft delete. Soft deleting, you see, deleting models. And uh, look at it. You can read about it, about soft deleting. So, but I'm going to add it um, here. Table. Um, soft delete note that it is in plural what I just wrote is in plural soft delete uh, I'm not getting it from um, magically uh, look at it here it's in plural look at it here table soft delete so you need to add it which is what I just did so we're gonna add it to all our migrations no migration soft delete no migration I'll do a soft delete if you don't do it, Laravel um, generator will complain that it doesn't exist uh, soft delete. And then finally, soft delete. Now we have all the soft delete. We'll have to run migration again. But running migration again only means that it will wipe out all the data in your database and clean it again, which means we have to register a new user again. So if it wipes our database clean, um, this particular user table has one user uh, if we do a migration now this one everything will disappear but it makes sense because it saves us what we uh, have the problem we're facing now so I'll have to go to my folder in the empty space hold my shift key right click select any of this uh, I prefer git and then once it's selected I can um, run my command for uh, migration I'll so PHP artisan by now you should have known this you should already know this migrate fresh so whether fresh or refresh depends on the one that works with your model of Laravel it is done so if I refresh this table this one should be gone if I click on structure you see it's gone now I have a fresh table which means I need to create a user again so to do that we're gonna go back home and of course log out so log out works then I'll click on register we're registered of course the partner and um, email the password password for Dave call it then check I agree register Um, of course, we needed to refresh the server. This server needed to be stopped. Control C, it stops. Control Up, PHP Artisan Serve. It's running again. I refresh it. Um, I have to click on here. Hit Enter. So Laravel does this thing that um, if it doesn't understand what you're doing, it will lock you out. So this is um. Call it Dave Partner. Call it Basket. I agree. Register. And we're good. Registration worked and it logged us in. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.